Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for watching Clawstruck. Today we have another on-location claw science for you guys. We're looking at the Drill-O-Matic. And this is not obviously a traditional claw game, but it has the same kind of controls, X, Y, Z axis controls. And the point of this game is to line up that multicolored drill with one of the yellow tubes. If you get it lined up and you hit the button, the drill will go into the tube, push the prize out the back of the tube, and into the prize chute. The thing I like about this game is there's no payout on these games, so it's not awarding prizes based on the amount of money spent and prizes given out, but there is some rigage on this game that's programmed by the operator. So if you think of the game as an XYZ table, the operator has control over the level of difficulty for each individual axis. He can also program the speed of the timer. This one's set to double speed, so it's not 99 seconds, it's much faster and you have to keep an eye on that. So the rigage is programmed by the amount of randomized drift that the game imposes over your control. So when you're moving the joystick around, if you move the joystick just a little bit, that drill is going to drift a little bit extra. And each time you move the joystick, it's going to drift a different amount. And you'll see this when you're playing. So the way to beat the game is to keep moving that back and forth and back and forth. Because it is random, eventually it's going to line up where you intended it to be. Using this piece of knowledge, this is the best way to increase your odds of beating the game. Start by lining the drill up with a row of tubes. Because they're all lined up horizontally, you want to make sure that you're lined up top to bottom first. Make sure you're a few millimeters too low when you're lining up with a row of tubes. Based on the leverage that the gantry has on this drill, it's always going to deflect upwards a little bit. So being too low actually works to your advantage. Once you got it set top to bottom, you can work on each individual tube. Now what you want to do is pick a tube and keep moving the joystick right and left until it lines up with the tube perfectly. Don't accept any level of misalignment. It's got to be dead on. It eventually will line up, but again, you're working against a randomizer. So you just got to stick with it. Mind your time though, because it does go down fast. You might not get it every try. Once you feel like you've got it lined up and you're ready to hit that button or let the timer run out, one final trick I can give you guys is to give the machine a little wiggle. You'll see me grab it with my hand and shake it a little bit. You want to be very gentle here. You're just trying to give the machine a little bit of deflection so when the drill just about touches the tube, it can ricochet if it's just a little bit misaligned and go inside. You'll see me do that. I gotta warn you, these machines do have tilt sensors and if it's set real sensitive, you will set it off and lose your play. Now obviously every machine is programmed to a different level of difficulty and we really have no way of knowing where this particular machine lies on that scale. But if you see one of these, give it a shot. I mean, it's not a payout, so you really have an equal chance of winning as anyone else that plays. And if it looks like you can't beat the randomizer, walk away. But best advice we can give you is pick a row, then pick a tube, and just keep moving that joystick right up until your timer runs out so you can try to beat the randomizer, get it perfectly lined up. Right before it touches the tube, give the machine a little wiggle, and you might just win. Machines like Keymaster, if you just keep an eye on it and you keep seeing the same prizes, that means you're going to be closer and closer to, to payout. Yep. He's in there. He's got it. There we go. Got some glasses. I, I, those have to be worth more than these. Maybe not. Yeah. yeah. Those are cool. Put them on. Fashion. You are in the digital world. In the 8 bit yeah. reality. That's right. Maybe you can get a, yeah, a couple more wins, or maybe just one more. And there are different sizes of tubes available. Whoa, he's just feeling it right now. Let's see. Sometimes you get that, you get it lining up. That looks good. Yep, and you see just that little extra. That little wiggle. Yeah, 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 just a little wiggle that. lets it, puts it in motion and lets you, uh, there we go. Let's go for another one. Do it. Pia! Oh. I like when she goes all over there. Yeah, I thought that too. I was like, it's getting real close. Yeah, you just see it like gives you a little better each time. Got it. A little wiggle. Yeah, that little wiggle, baby. It's like that point of contact when it's about to brush it. You're right, it just ricochets the right way. Yeah. 
All right, let's look at what you got. Yeah, we got three of these. So no. Yeah, prizes for the day. <laughs> and that's a, a on-site claw science yeah. for drillomatic. Oh, oh Steve. Steve too. He's the most rare one. We're told by. Yeah, we we found this out yesterday by playing this game. Yeah. But no, oh no! Oh no! Steve. That, that guy's the zombie, I think. Yeah. We found full sets of these open, selling for forty bucks. So, you know, we could probably break even on these or make some money. Oh, the the phallic-looking guy. The creeper. All right. Well, so if you guys hear drillomatic, you know the method. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did. We've got all sorts of other kinds of videos from how claws work with our claw science series, out in the public playing fixed strength machines with fixed strength grabs, as well as us rocking some payout machines like Keymaster. We love to hate them, but we still play them for you. If you're new to the channel, take a second to crush that subscribe button now so you get notified the very second we upload new claw videos. Thanks again. We'll talk to you again real soon.